ocean in the summer is a different beast to the frigid and roaring creature of the winter. The water is greener in the summer with the increased heat and algae blooms. This year, however, we experienced an extreme heat wave here and all up the Pacific Northwest coast of America. Intertidal creatures such as mussels, clams and sea stars really suffered, cooking in the warm bathtub temperatures of the ocean. I've started filming a few places around the island I live on to start recording sea life in preparation for a documentary I want to make next year. Documenting the Salish seas and its changes over the next year is going to be more interesting than I'd thought.
We will be watching the impact of the heat wave as it ripples through the seasons. The shoreline filter feeders not only clean up the ocean, but provide food for the other creatures up the food chain, which all rely on cooler temperatures to survive. There's a long, slow emergency that's been going on for a long time. And the recent heat wave and marine life die-offs are scary and capture the public's eye. And what I hope is a bit of a wake-up call. that what's under the ocean sometimes gets ignored because out of sight, out of mind. But it has such a huge impact on marine ecosystems, fish stocks, but also for food security in small coastal communities.
Listen to Mother Nature. She's calling out and asking you to pay attention and take action.